Hey guys, what's going on? So I had my first meal already and that was oatmeal and egg. Now I'm cooking up my second meal before I go to the gym. I'm going to the gym in about an hour and 10, 15 minutes or so. I work at 5.30 so it gives me about an hour, hour and 15 minutes after the gym to get ready for work and eat and stuff. So here I am cooking the second meal. I'm going to be having about two servings of Minute Maid rice here. And then a can of tuna with that. Albacore tuna. And then, yeah, I'll be uh, cooking up my hamburger here that I have in the fridge there. And get that all ready, because after the gym, I want to be able to eat that right away. And then I'll actually just bring my mass gainer shake to work, so that I can eat that in the, drink that, I should say, in the evening. And not have to worry about drinking it too late, or I can kind of just drink whatever I want, is what I'm basically getting at, uh, at work. But that'll basically, that'll finish off the macros, and then I'm set for the day. So. You know, consistently think about what you're gonna eat, when you're gonna eat it, and that's how you, that's the key to bulking, right? So, or even shredding if you're trying to lose weight. But either way, it's about planning out your meals throughout the day. That's just the best advice I can give you. So, nonetheless, guys, here we go. I'm gonna cook this up, and uh, the next thing you'll see me at is the gym. Yo, guys, what's going on? Alrighty, so I started off the back routine today with three light sets of V-bar straight arm pull down to warm up the lats and prepare them for the workout um, focusing on a full range of motion so after the first routine or sorry after the first exercise I moved on to deadlifts I did three sets of 10 8 6 focusing on keeping the form as clean as possible I recommend getting into a firm position with your chest held high and your back nice and straight and drive up the weight without bending the back at all. I increased the weight <clears throat> on every set and switched my grips between every set to ensure I was pulling evenly with both my right and left arm. That way, you know, you don't develop you don't develop crookedly. So I kept my feet planted the entire movement. And I used my Addy Power shoes actually today and they felt pretty nice. They had a nice grip on the floor. So I think I'm gonna be sticking to them from now on. I found that once I was getting past the knee, it was very easy to drive the weight up. Um, felt like I had a lot of connection with my heels on the ground, if that kind of makes sense. So moving on, I went on to pull downs. I went slightly wider than shoulder width but nothing crazy because I find that I feel that I get a better lat engagement if I don't go too wide. I did use a bit of a cheat style today so to drive out as much weight as possible but I still kept the, key, the form relatively clean and I brought the bar right down to the top of my chest every time and squeezed my back to its fullest potential. I did four sets of that movement of 10, 8, 8, 6 and then I moved on. What's funny is I actually uh, did the final set of six, pretty exhausted, realized that I didn't actually film it, so I went back and redid it. So I actually did six sets. I did 10, 8, 8, 6, 6. Anyway, so I went on to the third exercise where I did dumbbell T-bar rows. Unfortunately, my gym doesn't have a T-bar row machine, so what I like to do is I like to lie down on an incline bench and mimic the movement, mimic the movement of the machine. I sometimes also use my straps to make sure that my grip doesn't give up before my back does. I did four sets, 10, 8, 8, 6, and, then, and I focused on my upper back for this motion. I feel that for me personally, although actually not for me personally, I feel that in general a rowing movement should be included in every single back routine that anybody does. So definitely always make sure you're including at least one rowing um, exercise in your back routine. Moving on to the fourth exercise, I did cable rows. I picked this one up from a video I saw by Jeff Nippard. I think that's how you say his last name. Uh, you start off by kneeling on the ground with the cable on a low setting, then finish with the set by lying on the ground and going till failure. I definitely enjoyed this exercise and will be definitely including it in more of my routines. This exercise works really well if you think if you think of your lat throughout the entire movement and get a really good mus mind muscle connection. I went lighter on this exercise and went for more reps, so I did three sets of 12 to 15 on this exercise. 
The final movement of the back routine were just standard barbell shocks, keeping the shoulders back and holding the top position for a brief second or two to ensure I was squeezing the traps fully. I did three sets of 10, 8, eight and 8, and that's where I finished the workout off. Rushed out of the gym as fast as possible because I was running a little bit late for work. Yo guys, what's going on? All right, so I am back from work. Finished off uh, the meal I had talked about previously. I had the lean ground beef and the rice. Then I headed off to work. At work, I chowed down my mass gainer shake, which I showed you guys in the yesterday's video. So at the gym today, we, me and Devin, smashed them back. Addy power lifting shoes today. I haven't really used them in the past on deadlifts. And I found that once I got past that midway point, it was very easy to come up and get a great squeeze on the glutes. But nonetheless, guys, it was a great workout and I smashed it in about an hour and then I came home and then went to work and now we're here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Let me know in the, let me know in the comment section below if there's any questions I can help you out with or anything like that. I really hope you're enjoying these videos and give me a thumbs up if you can. That'd be greatly appreciated. Have a good one, guys, and all like always, happy lifting.